The RIP 9 has been around for a decade, but it has evolved. And for the very first time, Niner are making a 27.5 bike. Yes, you heard it right. The bike company that's named after 29ers have made their first ever 27.5 bike. We've come out to Patagonia and Niner have invited us to ride them. I'm riding the 29er, Blake is riding the small wheel bike. So it's an all new bike, completely redesigned. It's the longest, lowest, slackest bike the Niner have ever made. A 140mm travel trail bike, that might be the holy grail, that magic figure. I've come to love 29er trail and enduro bikes. To me, they feel good straight away as soon as you jump on them. They feel like they cover ground really well and make me feel confident on downhills. I'm a racer, I like a bike to feel fast. My idea of a perfect bike for rallying the downhills and exploring the wilderness of Patagonia. So you can see the silhouettes of the bikes are virtually identical from the two different wheel sizes. They are two different frames. You can't run 29 and 27.5 in the same bike, basically because when Niner came round to it, they decided there'd be too many compromises to try and do that. So choose your wheel size, that's the bike. Comes with a 66 degree head angle or 65 because you've got this flip chip on the rear. You can run that on high or low, and that slackens the bike up or raises the bottom bracket just so you get that clearance on the pedals. You've got this CVA suspension on the back of these bikes. Nice and sensitive to begin with, good support in that mid-stroke and then ramp up. Carbon fibre frames, you can see where the frames have been sort of overbuilt and then where they're slimmer to save the weight. Down here surrounding the shock, you've got this rib cage. Niner have designed them to really achieve that lateral stiffness. So the bike feels stiff, but they've got some compliance vertically. And that really is a good thing to aim for, just so the bike is not super punishing. It's stiff where you want it to be, but also compliant when you need it to be. The geometry numbers look really similar between the two bikes. Of course, Niner have designed them to really you know, mirror each other. So reach is the same, head angle of course is the same. It's only when you start looking at bottom bracket drop and front center, where of course that's different on a 29er. And you get those uh, characteristics that many of us have come to love, like that sort of truck ability of getting over things, rolling over things that little bit better. That is great on a 29er. When Niner have decided to build this brand new bike with small wheels, they're just looking for that more agile, a more playful bike that many other riders come to like. Of course, Blake really likes these types of bike. I really like the 29ers. 27.5 is my thing. I want a bike that's super agile, throwable in the air and on the ground. I'm a free rider that loves to ride all sorts of mountain bikes. Fun is at the top of the list of things I want from a bike and I can find anywhere, wilderness or not, to pop the bike into shape. You've got the ability to run a big 2.8 tyre on the 27.5 bike and then up to a 2.6 on the 29. They come spec'd with a more modestly sized 2.5 but actually it's probably more realistic for most riders. The seat tube has been shortened on the new RIP 9, so it can accommodate a 170 mm dropper post. Also that standover height has dropped 20 millimeters. A short head tube and a low stack height gives the ability to run a whole different range of bars and stem. They do come with super short stem and wide bars, and the bikes are built for abuse. They've got black oxide bearings to make them super durable. You've got bump guards and bash guards on the bottom of the bike. Also, you've got full sleeve internal routing to make it super easy to get those cables through the frame. The bikes are one by specific. You've got room to mount a bottle cage inside the frame and you've got the practicality of a metric size shock. There's a couple of really cool little touches to the bike. You've got a little sag gauge on that pivot bolt there. Also, you've got a little sort of 90 degree valve there to make it super easy to adjust the pressure on your shock. Super cool to see a company like Niner really completely reevaluate the, the you know their ethos and design a new bike, 27.5 wheels for someone who likes to thrash the bike around, throw it around in the air, but also that 29er with that progressive suspension on both bikes. It really makes these bikes capable, and that is great for monster trucking down the trails. Myself and Blake have had an amazing time here in Patagonia riding these bikes, and also we've ridden a real variety of terrains, some pretty epic days out to be honest long single track 
dusty as hell. And then we've actually smashed some proper downhill runs and it's great to see how capable these bikes are. Give us a thumbs up if you like us coming to Patagonia, because I love it, and hit that subscribe button.